Hello class and welcome to Physical Geology. I am your instructor for this spring semester class here at Gavilan College. My name is Robert Lopez and I'm making this intro video to kind of go a little bit over the canvas material and kind of talk about the class and how, how I want to present it. Uh, remember this class is a four unit class in the physical science transferable to pretty much anywhere you want to go. And we are doing the lectures online so you'll see that I have a bunch of modules up here with all bunch of video lectures of me and study questions and quizzes and all the assignments are pretty much at the course all published. Then for labs, uh, we are meeting on Fridays on campus, uh, room social sciences 206, uh, 945 a.m. to 12.55. So we'll be doing the labs. And you'll see that uh, for the labs, we'll need this lab manual that I produced. And in fact, just yesterday, I sent it over to the Gavilan College printers and they should print up a bunch of copies and they'll have them for sale. I mean, last time I did this, uh, gosh, it's been two years since I've taught face-to-face. -face. Um, I think the book was like $20, $25 for the lab manual. Um, so that's a lab text. For the lecture part of the course, there is a lecture text and it's a free open source textbook. So it's available at this website. So you want to make sure you download it. I've actually downloaded it and put it on my my iPhone, I made it into a, an iBook, so you can download it and you can read it on your phone or your iPad, on your computer, or you can download a PDF and print the whole thing if you wanted to. But uh, I recommend you just treat it as an eBook. So that's a free textbook we're using for the lecture part, but there is a lab, lab manual you need to do all the, the labs in. So anyways, this is our homepage and let's get the syllabus real quick here. Again, lecture lab, meet online for lectures come to campus for three hours a week on Fridays, right? So um, you can see how the office hours here as well, so you can kind of look over the syllabus. There is a syllabus quiz that's due on February 6th, I think. In fact, you'll see that all assignments for this class are gonna be weekly assignments, um, all due on Sunday nights, right? So the first set of assignments will be due February 6th. Uh, February 6th, that's correct. So anyways, you can, you, I think I had that somewhere written on here. Yeah, February 6th for the first assignment, February 13th. So make sure you read through the syllabus because I asked specific questions in the syllabus quiz about um, uh, this material you'll be reading. And again, um, I had things about homeworks, about the, the course. Uh, another big thing about this course is you can see where you're going to be spending about six hours a week on the lecture portion of the course, which is the online portion. Um, you know, you'll watch my videos, you'll, you'll take notes. I mean, it's just like coming to class. You'll see that I have these YouTube videos, you'll watch them, you'll take notes, and I have a series of study questions that go along with those videos that, that um, I use for the exam. So you'll see that I talk about the study questions down here. Now, um, so you'll look at that, and then, uh, then obviously the three hours per week for the lab, right? So collectively, here I say about nine to 10 hours a week. So um, I think I have a question on the syllabus quiz. And how many hours are you? Nine to 10 hours per week, right? The key thing about this course is I present everything in this modules tab right here. So, um, and I have the whole course pretty much ready to go, right? So uh, um, yeah, so here's the welcome. So the syllabus quiz and then some other information that the college wants you to have. So I just put, kind of put that in here, but really for, for this first module, you want to take the syllabus quiz, right? Uh, and then after that, you'll see chapter one, materials to February 6th. Um, each module will have a learning guide. And basically the learning guide is sort of like your, your checklist. What, what's due this week? You know, you got to read chapter one, take notes on the videos. Uh, there's a couple exercises that, that I want you to do out of the book there. Uh, end of chapter questions. And then there's this lab tutorial that you do um, and there's a quiz based on that, and then we do the lab on campus, right? So if we kind of go back to that lab tutorial, because each week I kind of have this, this idea of this, this pre-lab tutorial here. And in fact, let's get the minerals one, because it's a little bit more complete for minerals. Uh, so you can see there's a pre-lab tutorial. Click on that, and it'll take you to this external website, and you kind of just go through the different um, topics here for minerals. And then at the end of going through this, you can take the, the lab quiz they have there. You know, there's a kind of pre-lab quiz. I mean, I recommend it, but it's not worth anything for you. But I took some of those questions and added them to my quiz, you'll see in a minute. But then for this assignments and procedures, don't worry about that. Uh, we don't have access to that. 
So you, you, you will not need to do this last part here. Um, but just go down through the lab quiz, this, this lab drill, and you can kind of uh, go to this quiz. But for our purposes, uh, I've taken some of these questions. In fact, let's look at the uh, a synthetic diamond. Is, so no, because diamonds are, are a mineral, by definition, is naturally occurring. So we'd say false, right? So anyways, you would go through that um, uh, just for practice. But then if you hit next here, and you go to, to my quiz, based on that, you'll take this quiz and then you can um, answer these questions, right? And so again, they're they're based on what we what we just um, what we just went through in that lab tutorial. And so all these questions, I don't know if I have that diamond question in here, but usually I put the same ones in there. So anyhow, um, each of these uh, lab tutorials will have a a lab quiz, right? So pre lab quiz. Then there's a lab itself, right? And for um, the folder where the lab itself is, there's hardly anything in there. Um, for the first week, since people are probably haven't purchased the book yet and they won't have the book right away, the lab book, that is the lab manual, I added the PDF of that first lab. Mostly this folder here would be a placeholder for me to enter the grade once, once you submit the lab. And you'll see that um, every Friday we're meeting for lab and those three hours we'll complete the lab and you'll turn it in at the end of the day or after the three hours and then uh, you'll be done with the lab. So um, it's really important to, to come to lab and complete the lab assignments. In fact, one, one key thing about this class, since it's a lecture lab four unit course, you get one grade for the full four units. And one of the key things about this lab is that you must, you cannot receive a letter grade of C or more better without completing more than 70% of the lab. So in other words, you need to get a 70% or better on the labs, right? So in other words, Missing labs is not a good deal, so we want to make sure you come to lab. Uh, again, the whole course is presented in the modules tab. So you'll go through the syllabus. Uh, you'll start, you know, in fact, let's look at the, the minerals. You'll see that there's a learning guide again for each, for each uh, module, and then I have these series of lectures, right? So it's like coming to class. You'll start clicking on this and... Composed of minerals, and minerals are the building blocks of rocks, right? right. In order to identify and... So you can see that I have my little scratch pad here. So you want to take notes on what I'm doing here. And this video is, is for another class, California Geology, but it's the same mineral. So I use the same uh, uh, approach for this class as well. So um, uh, make sure you... you yeah, the, the different silicate structures I'll have. I have several questions about these. So again, you watch these videos, take notes, and then once you've uh, completed the, the, the videos, uh, you'll want to answer the, the lecture study questions. So each lecture series, volcanoes, igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, will have a series of kind of like a study guide, these, these study questions. And so the answers to these questions come directly from those video lectures, right? Um, you can look these up on the internet, you'll get some answers, but they're not the answers I'm looking for. And that's one of the problems have, students have had in the past is they, they Google this stuff. And when, they, when the question comes up on the exam, they'll put their Google answer and that's not the correct answer. The correct answer is what I have in my video lecture. So in other words, watch my videos, take notes because the answers to these all important questions, because remember I take a subset of these and I put these on the exam. So if you can answer these questions or if you have all these answered correctly, you'll ace all the exams, right? Okay, so that's a little bit about the study questions, the modules. Uh, we talked about the learning guides a little bit. Um, and then I talked about the pre-lab tutorials and the pre-lab quizzes. So again, you'll see each one uh, has a, um, a tutorial on there. Some of the, the chapters or modules have flashcards, and that's just for your reference. You can just go through those, and they may help you out, just for definitions, because you'll find that geology, uh, we use a lot of Greek, <laughs> a, a lot of Latin, um, so, so it's a different language. Uh, uh, so it, it does help to have these flashcards or, you know, when I was going to college, I always would have um, a vocabulary list, words I didn't understand or didn't know. I'd write them down, I'd look them up later, and I had my own little uh, mini dictionary of, of words that I learned. So anyhow, um, uh, that's kind of it. Uh, again, uh, I won't see you until that first Friday, which would be February 1st, I think. Yeah, the... Um, or February 4th is the first day we meet, which is a Friday. Um, but again, remember school starts January 31st. So 
you should start working on watching these videos. In fact, it's chapter one. I have a series of lecture videos here. Again, you'll you'll um, watch. It is a short lecture because it's an intro. Uh, but again, uh, take some notes on here, and then we can discuss this um, in lab on Friday as well. So, anyhow, that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you guys on Friday.